I am just going to pose a series of questions and commentary about these snippets starting with this thumbnail posted by 2Q for Cancer. How do you all feel about this title, Morphine, please? What if the prescribing doctor saw his patient posting this? People are concerned that Too Cute for Cancer allegedly is potentially addicted to morphine based on her videos. Oh, name of love. <laughs> it's gonna be fun. I took two morphine, and I had already taken uh, my normal uh, of the 15. Um, anyway, I took, Ray ran and got it. Got it, no problem. I just took two, so I'm feeling pretty good right now. In fact, I think I'm a little tiny bit high. <laughs> I'm a little tiny bit high. Ooh. Sorry. Admitting and laughing about being a little bit high is this acceptable behavior from anyone, regardless of the reason. And after that, I'm going to climb under the, the sheets and then I'm going to take another morphine. Can't take another one when I get in because, you know. Uh, I might drown. You don't want that. There's nothing wrong with using prescription pain medication as needed for pain. But is she going too far? People are concerned. Way better. Of course, I'm totally loaded up on some good morphine. So, you know. Is it a good idea to constantly tell the world how much good morphine you're on when doctors have become so strict to prescribe pain meds? Is I need, I'm low on my morphine. So, um, I'm gonna have to figure that out too. Is it a good idea to frequently tell viewers how low on morphine you are? Could this potentially trigger people with addiction? Try to get the doctor to write a different, uh, a different prescription, a different dose of morphine. Do doctors want their patients talking about prescription doses? I went ahead and took um, a 15 milligram, the instant release um, um, morphine. And I literally sat there staring at, at the time, waiting for it to kick in. Cause you Why is there again a need to constantly tell viewers about the morphine? Are some details better left unsaid? my uh, being on uh, the morphine 15 for a long time. If I want to go higher, then... JPSM Journal states that oral morphine causes clinically significant respiratory depression in patients with cancer, as well as heavy sedation and mental clouding are frequent side effects. The study from this article specifically states that opiate use in chronic cancer patients can actually increase the growth of tumors. If you or anyone you know are struggling with addiction, please give this number a call. Thanks for watching my video.